Hello FPL managers, today we go over every Premier League team's predicted lineup for game week 1. In today's video, we have a look over at the most likely starting 11 players for all 20 Premier League clubs, indicating how they're going to line up for their new Premier League season. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as we're trying to hit 8k subs by the start of the new Premier League season, and with that being said, let's get into the video. So taking a look at the first team is AFC Bournemouth. So taking a look at Bournemouth's lineup, the main ones to look at is of course Dominic Solanke. He currently has a 95% chance of staying and is probably the best asset for Bournemouth across this season. Otherwise, their fullbacks of Smith and Zamora both come in at 4.5 million pounds and both look fairly nailed. Otherwise, if you are looking for a goalkeeper, Travis for Bournemouth and goals is expected to start for them at 100% chance. So he's probably the option in goals I'd go for. Arsenal's starting 11 also looks fairly interesting as Zinchenko comes in there with a 70% chance of starting. He's obviously one that a lot of managers are looking at this season and does look to be a good pick. Tomiyasu does currently have a thigh injury and that's why there's only a 53% chance of starting. And otherwise looking around the team, Gabriel Jesus has a 95% chance of starting and Saka is also very high with a 97% chance. The other main one to look at is Martinelli who's currently got a 66% chance of starting but after having a very good preseason getting lots of assists, I think he is likely to play. Now having a look at Aston Villa's side, everyone that you'd expect to be in there is fairly nailed. Cash and Luca Dean both have a 100% chance of starting in that fullback role. I do especially like Cash as he is getting very far up the pitch. Coutinho has a 95% chance of staying which is good to see and the strike force of Watkins and Danny Ings are both look fairly now to play. Other ones to note is Ramsey in midfield with a 79% chance of starting and currently it doesn't look like Bailey is in the starting 11 right now but after having a very good preseason we'll have to see how that changes. So let's take a look at Brentford's team. In goals, Davareya has a 100% chance of starting, which is good to see there. If you are looking for that Brentford now keeper at 4.5 million, Ben Mee, the new signing, currently has around a 70% chance of starting, which is interesting to see. Looking to the forwards now, Ivan Tony has a 100% chance of starting, and Embuemo is filling now as well with a 95% chance. And it's interesting to see Wissa there as well with a nearly a 40% chance of starting. He could provide a bit of value in their attack if he can find the back of the net, as he was very efficient when he played last season. Brighton's side is another one with a couple of key discussion points. In goals, their 4.5 keeper in Sanchez has a 100% chance of starting, as I do think between him and Raya are the best 4.5 options in goals. Lamptey currently has a 38% chance of starting. In the centre backs, though, Velman and Dunk do look fairly nailed, and Kukurai nearly has a 100% chance of starting, but we'll have to see whether he stays at Brighton. Trossard currently has a 62% chance to start, but I do think this realistically could be a bit higher, especially after him getting a hat trick in his most recent game for Brighton. And the preferred strike force looks to be Malpay and Welbeck at the moment moment with no one from that starting 11. Progressing to Chelsea's predicted XI, in goals Mendy has that 100% chance of starting and currently the centre back situation is a bit dire. Obviously Koulibaly hasn't been factored into this team right now but I would expect him to be fairly nailed alongside Thiago Silva. Obviously Chelsea are looking to sign Jules Koundé as well so at the moment as Piliqueta is featuring there in centre back and as their fullbacks, it's Reese James and Ben Chilwell. According to Fix, Chilwell actually has a higher percentage chance of starting than Reese James, despite Alonso being in the team still, and the front three looks to be Sterling, Mount, and Havertz. On to Crystal Palace's predicted side. In the defence, the main ones to look out for is Tyrek Mitchell. He currently has an 85% chance to start, so I would assume he's filling out and is probably their most attacking defender. Otherwise, around the side, Zaha looks now to play, and they look to be playing a 4-4-2 formation with the two strikers of Eduard and Mateta. Currently, no Eze in this predicted starting 11, which is interesting to see, but I do think Eduard's had a very good preseason as well, so he's one to look out for with nearly an 80% chance of playing. Everton's side is definitely one with a couple of weak points, but in goals, Pickford features there at 4.5 million. He's probably a differential keeper at that price. In the defence though, I do like Mikolenko, he's currently 4.5 million pounds and is definitely a very attacking fullback with a 100% chance of playing. Otherwise, it's very interesting to see a fix predict Everton to be having a front four almost with Gordon, Gray, Deli Alley and Carver Lewin and making it up. Last season as well, we saw Decore become a box-to-box -box player, so there's definitely a couple of budget options that Everton attack that could be worthwhile targeting if they can get on form. Discussing Fulham's predicted 11 now, in goals, their keeper is most likely going to be Rodak with a 100% chance of starting. 
Amongst the defenders, Tete there has a 98% chance of playing, but the new signing of Mbabu could provide some rotation risk. With Mbabu at 4.5 million pounds, I do believe he's the best option in that Fulham defence, as I'm assuming he'll be very attacking. Otherwise, the main ones to note in the forward line for Fulham are Harry Wilson and Alexander Mitrovic, who both have at least a 93% chance of playing. Next up for the predicted 11 is Leeds. The defence is fairly expected for Leeds, being a back four of Koch, Lorente, Cooper and Stroke with Melier and goals. And the attack it does feature Rodrigo and Harris on the wings, and actually Sam Greenwood currently has a 92% chance of starting. It definitely will be interesting to see how he slots in with a couple of other new summer signings, and Patrick Bamford leads the line. Leicester City's team is also one that has potential for a couple of differential gems. In defence there, Pereira currently has a 50% chance to play, but if he can get to the pitch, he offers very good attacking potential. Otherwise, I do like Fafana and centre-back. Vestergaard isn't actually listed here as well, and he does have a fairly high ownership, so maybe one to avoid. At £4 million though, I do like Nico Williams instead of Vestergaard, so maybe worthwhile spending the money there. Moving on to Liverpool's 11 now, it is a fairly expected team. The main ones to note is Trent and Robertson, both with a very high chance of playing. And the front three is definitely one to look out for, as at the moment it's Salah, Nunes and Diaz. Jota does currently have an injury, and Firmino also started in the FA Community Shield final, but Darwin Nunes is the preferred starter here in striker. Also a quick note, they do have Allison at 100% chance to play, but he did pick up a slight injury during preseason, and Adrian started their most recent game. On to another big title contender, it's Manchester City. I'm really interested in their defence at the moment as Kyle Walker and John Stones are both expected to play. Obviously Laporte's got a bit of an injury there and Zinchenko has been transferred to Arsenal so it could see Kyle Walker getting starting at right back or left back minutes. He is definitely one to look out for at £5 million and unless they sign Kukurea, I would be expecting Kyle Walker to be starting the majority of games. Elsewhere in attack, Kevin De Bruyne has an 82% chance of playing and has looked fairly threatening in pre-season and it looks to be the front three of Mahrez, Haaland and Grealish at the moment. Next up, it's Manchester United. There is definitely a bit of uncertainty in their starting players in defence, but it looks to be Darlo, Lindelof, Maguire and Tellers as the preferred starting four right now. Darlo is probably the one I look out for most in the Manchester United defence as he probably is the most attacking and at 4.5 million pounds could prove to be good value. It's very interesting to see Bruno Fernandes not selected in this side at the moment as Christian Eriksen comes in with an 86% chance of playing despite not featuring too much in pre-season. And also it's interesting to note the front three right now is Alanga, Ronaldo and Sancho. Obviously Rashford had a very good pre-season as well so I would expect Rashford to probably pivot Alanga off his starting spot. And Ronaldo's future at the club is a bit uncertain right now, which could free up some space for Martial in that striker role as well. Newcastle United side is definitely a much improved team this season, so let's have a look how they get on. Pope is currently the preferred goalkeeper, and in defence it's very interesting to see Kraft their feature over Trippier in that right back position, as currently Trippier only has a 40% chance of playing. In the attack though, the ones to look out for are St. Maxman and Callum Wilson. Both of them had an electric game in the last match of Newcastle's preseason, so definitely two attackers to look out for in this side. Now glancing at the newly promoted side at Nottingham Forest. At the moment their goalkeeper slot is a bit uncertain, but I would be expecting Henderson to start there personally, and I would also expect Nico Williams to feature in a starting role in their defence. Neither of these players yet have been featured in this starting X side by Fix, but I do think they'll come into the side closer to the game week 1 deadline. Let's now take a glance at the Southampton team. Their preferred keeper right now is Alex McCarthy with a 94% chance of playing. And around the size the ones to look out for are probably Kyle Walker-Peters in that right wing back role. He currently has a 60% chance to play. Romain Perot in the other left wing back role is also very important to them and could prove to be a nice value pick there. Otherwise, the forwards include Shea Adams with nearly a 100% chance of starting. And maybe what Prowse that midfield looks fairly nailed. Analyzing another big six side now, it's Tottenham Hotspur. Their defense is definitely a very interesting one, as despite the new signing of Jed Spence, Doherty is still the preferred option, with an 85% chance of starting, and also their new signing Perisic has a 95% chance to play. We'll have to see how long they slot into this side as well, and whether they're going to switch to a back five, but currently Fix have them playing a back four. In the attack, it looks to be Lucas Moura, Kulosevsky, Son and Kane are making up the front four for the Spurs. 
Having a look at the second last team on the list, it is West Ham. Fabianski looks to be the starting goalkeeper, followed up by a back four of Sufal, Zuma, Dawson and Cresswell. Unsurprisingly, Rice and Sujek both have a very high chance of playing, and the front four looks to be Bowen, Lanzini, Benrahma and Mikel Antonio. And as the last lineup we're having a look at, it's Wolves. Wolves look to be playing with their back five with their three centre backs of Bolly, Cody, and their new signing, Nathan Collins. I am looking at the Wolves fullbacks as well, with Johnny and Ryan at Noy there, and the front three looks to be Pedence, Jimenez, and Neto. Thanks for watching today's video. If you guys want to become a channel member, then click the join button down below and get featured on the members board at the end of the videos, just like Philip Ash here. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to show support for the channel and click the notification bell. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.